Dancing is not an expression of the body but of the heart, mind and soul. We at Jaipuria want every child to smile. Where smile stands for showing miracle by innovative learning and enjoyment. What would be a better way to express than through dance and movements? Now, students will share a beautiful story with hand gestures taught by their dance teacher. Birth means when a baby comes out of its egg. It is the beginning of life. Here, baby bird named Coco is in the little egg. and she wants to come out she tapped inside of the egg with her beak and made a little hole she pushes her beak through the hole and look up and down and around and tried to come out and then she tried to crack the shell of the remaining egg to come out completely and then she celebrates her success of coming out by waving her little feathers in the fresh air and with the self belief and continuous effort she starts flying high she was adorned with two perfect wings and with marvelous feathers and she continued flying across the sky but unfortunately she was trapped and was put in a cage Coco was sad and all the time throughout the day she was trying to come out in search of the open sky but could not she was resisted by the iron bars of the cage and then she gets deeply disheartened hope is the thing with feathers that perches in the soul and sings the tune without words and never stops at all coco believes that nothing is impossible as the word says i am possible with the full hope and belief in herself she tried again to come out of the cage and one day she finally achieved and flew away in the open sky success is walking from failure to failure with no loss of enthusiasm everyone enjoyed the story now let me tell you the amazing part of it we have used hand gestures to predict the story now my friends will tell you which are the hand gestures we have used in the story mushti is the first mudra which we have used in the story and this is how we make mushti mudra We have used musimuda to show baby bird inside the egg. Topika, the second mudra which we have used in the story, and this is how we make mudra kapita. We have used this mudra to show the bird's beak. Arjun, the third mudra which we have used. in the story and this is how we make mudra arth chandra we have used mudra arth chandra to make the flying bird we made it by using both the hands as mudra arth chandra and joined both the hands thumb in double hand gestures we call it as mudra garo padma kosh the fourth mudra which we have used in the story and this is how we make mudra padmakosh 
we have used mudra to show the cage where bird was trapped suchi mudra we have used mudra suchi to show a swing of a bird on which she was swinging inside the cage